the old program when it comes to love is very Hollywood. You know, story is conflict, so you have to have ups, downs, anger, you know, an intense emotion that is negative, followed up by intense emotion that then is positive. It's fun to watch, but it's not fun to live. You know, people think that generally if they feel attracted to someone uh, physically, oh, I'm in love, that's love. Love is far more deep, far more work, and it takes time and knowledge of something or someone in order to develop love. This old program would be love is all about emotion. It begins with emotion and ends with emotion. How can we think that love is emotion if emotions come and go? Today's mind upgrade is love begins with order. Love begins with order means that it begins with you. Number one, what does that mean? Love begins within. Love begins with order starts here. It starts with putting your mind in order. Because once you put your mind in order, you're gonna be able to see that everything else in your life will become orderly as a consequence of that mental order. Order is a sequence. It starts with one, then you go two, then you go three. You know, it's not like one, seven, six, you know, it doesn't, and this is, this is one of the problems, for example, when it comes to romantic love, is that there is no sequence. Love is stable. You love someone, you continue to love them, if you truly, truly love them. If you don't really love somebody, then once the emotion goes away, so does your love. People aren't putting order in their love lives. An example of that would be, I meet someone, one, I should get to know them, two, but get to know them doesn't mean sleeping with them because if you sleep already, that you just went to seven. So one, seven, and then you move in together, you don't really even know each other, then you break up, obviously because you don't know each other. So knowing each other would be two and three. <laughs> so that would be a, the sequence, an order of sequence. We cannot project love onto others unless we have actually created that inside of ourselves within and for ourselves first. Loving yourself means taking care of your mental state, whether it's reading, uh, what kind of things are you reading? What kind of movies are you watching? Is it empowering you? Is it inspiring you? What kind of conversations are you having with your peers, with your friends, with your family? Is it supporting your growth? Is it empowering you to be the best version of yourself? That's love. That's loving yourself. What kind of food am I putting in my body? Is it the best quality? Is it the best for me? That's loving myself. I'm going to exercise, movement putting order into my physical body. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put order in my home because my home is an expression of my internal state. And if it's all disorganized and cluttered and you know, just not in harmony, then I have to put that in order. And as I am organizing and putting order in my home, I am really organizing my mind at the same time. I'm organizing my thoughts because everything is connected. Having the courage to say no to things, people, places that are toxic for you. Because people can be toxic too. Places can be toxic for you. Meaning the, the environment that you're in. All of those things are taking care of yourself, loving yourself. It's your responsibility and it's your choice who you want to be and to be who you are. So once you put your mind in order, everything else in your life, uh, good nutrition, healthy relationships, um, a sense of spiritual connection, and an orderly home, everything else as an effect of this cause of putting your mind in order, as a consequence, as a result, will be put in order as well. She could be famous from the way she laughs And every time she smiles it's like an autograph And he and she knows that there's just
love Sylvia Muriel TV? Spread the help. Tell your friends to sign up at sylviamuriel.com.